Our Broke showed why they can be tipped to challenge for promotion in League One again this season. Meanwhile, Hearts built fitness and had a look at new signings and trialists in their game at Gayfield Park. It was the Premiership side who in the end came out victorious with a 2-1 win. Returning Stephen Naismith watched from the stands as two trialists started for the Jambos. One was 20-year-old American goalkeeper Kevin Silva and the other was former Hamilton Academical midfielder Ali Crawford. Craig Levine's side struggled for goals last season. Hearts only scored 39, only Partick Thistle and Dundee scored less. And it was looking like a familiar story for the Tynecastle side as they hit the bar twice. 19-year-old Aidan Keena opened the goal scoring for a heart with this tidy finish. Midfielder Ross Callahan made it 2-0 after the interval. You may have seen this cheeky nutmeg on either of our Instagram or Twitter pages. The nutmeg wasn't the highlight of the game for our bro though. Kane Hester ran the length of the pitch for our bro to score this goal past the Hearts keeper. However, it was only a consolation in the end for the Angus side. For Hearts, while supporters might have expected more goals against the League One side, it was a good run out and a good challenge, and it was a good chance to see new signings in action, and some of them did quite well. Our Broke, meanwhile, can be happy with how they played in a tough fixture against the side two leagues above them. The League One side will play a team one league above them on Monday. They'll be playing Dunfermline, and any 98 will once again have a camera present at Gayfield Park. So watch out for a little bit of a roundup in that one and of course more footage coming out from that game that is going to go towards some of our other projects. And our final note, remember to follow us across our social medias. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at any98ft. And you can also find our blog, it's any98.net. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again with a roundup of the Dunfermline, our broke game that's taking place on Monday.